Hello everybody, this is Tekka. In this video, what I'm going to be doing is showing you some fantastic diagramming software that is natively available in Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. The software that we're going to be taking a look at is this right here. This is eDraw Max. Now you can do a lot with it. You can see here under the templates, I have electrical engineering and all these different diagrams that you can use, edit, change. We also have things like building planning. We have wireframe database modeling, software development, project management. And one of my favorites right here is this network diagramming that you could go ahead and do. So through this video, I'm gonna be giving you my review of this application, going through just about everything that you could do. And full disclosure, out of the gate, this is a sponsored video by this software and they did give me a free account and a fee to make this video, but I am incredibly happy that they reached out to me because I've been using this like crazy. And I am gonna continue using it a lot on this channel because like the last thing I did with it was make that a benchmark graph, which ended up looking better than any graph that I've ever made on this channel. Now with that, they do have a free and paid version. You could go ahead and try out the free version right now on Windows, Linux, whatever. The main difference between the free and paid version is the free version doesn't have nearly as many templates or anything like that. You don't really have that cloud storage and you do not get support. But with that said, with the free version, you don't even really need an account or anything. You could just install it, try it out. If you like it enough, you could purchase the paid plan or you just keep using the features that are available in the free version. And trying this out on Linux is pretty easy. You just go over to their try page. It detects what operating system you're running. On the website, they have downloads for Debian based systems. They have a dev package and they have an RPM package for Fedora systems. But I did a check and there is a version available in the AUR as well. So for me installing it on Debian, I just downloaded the package, opened up the terminal from my downloads directory, ran the sudo dpkg command to go ahead and actually install it. And then it was as easy as that. You could see it in my applications. Give it a quick open and it is ready to go. So now that all that's covered, we're actually gonna dive a little bit deeper into the software here. We briefly saw some of these templates. They have two sections of templates and they have a lot of them. I believe there's about 200 different types of templates from uh, like if I go under mind map here, you can see there's mind map, concept map, bubble diagram. If I go under marketing, there's a bunch of subcategories for different marketing diagrams. And I do believe within these categories, there's over 2000 separate templates. But one thing that's really cool is right here, if you go under just templates, this is templates that other people have created that they submitted to this. So over here, we have a bunch of different diagram types. We have roles so you can pick what you actually do and get specific templates and diagrams for that. So for example, let's say you're a teacher and you go under education, you can see all these appearing with all these different user created diagrams. And if I go under like most viewed, for example, you can see basic concept map, uh, Harry Potter relationship, genogram, uh, animal taxonomy chart, rock sediment map. So even if you're just trying to get resources for uh, certain topics that they're gonna be in here, it's pretty cool. So what I'm gonna do real quick is actually go over to new and I'm just gonna create something blank. So nothing here, I'm not using any templates or anything. And one thing I wanna show you is over here under libraries, they have a bunch of different uh, symbols, clip art, just a whole bunch of things. For example, let's say I wanted a picture of a computer. I would just go ahead and search computer and then it's gonna give me all these different symbols that I could use. You could see I have computer keys so I could drag and drop this G key for example and I can create diagrams with that. I have this like Windows tablet thing right here that I could pull in and use within a diagram if I would like to. I think on the notes it says here there's a 26,000 different symbols that you could go ahead and look through. Uh, just for giggles, if we search Linux, you can see I can pull tux in here if I would like to. And you saw that I clicked on the wrong spot, but it brings up a good point. I could go ahead and easily add these like flow chart maps. Here, let's zoom in here so we can see this a little bit better. So you could go ahead and link things with these connectors here. So I can link these two. And then let's say I wanted to link this and bring it up. And that's just one like flow chart style diagram thing that you can make really easy. If I go ahead and click on this connector over here on the right hand column, this is where it's gonna bring up all these specific settings and options for whatever you're selecting in your main workspace. So you can do pattern fill, solid fill, underline, I could change the transparency, the color, 
what type of line it is, the width. So if I pumped this up a lot, you can see I'm increasing the thickness of that. And I could grab just about anywhere on it and change this if I would like to. If I go over here, I could change the color of it so I can make it that kind of light red. But this is just an example of me throwing random things in here. Uh, one feature that I actually used, uh, let's go over here under insert. Up here's the ribbon. It's very similar to the kind of Microsoft style of layout. If I go over here to insert, you can see I have a ton of different options, blank page, table, picture, chart, timeline, container, formula, vector, text, uh, symbols, QR codes, etc. cetera. Uh, let's say I wanted a chart. It's gonna bring up this insert, insert chart pop-up here with all the different types that are available to us. We have funnel charts, gauges, pie charts. We have the uh, percent radar charts, a bunch of different kinds. Me, I'm not that smart, so I always just stick with a clustered bar or stacked bar. Stacked bar was the one I used for that benchmarking thing, but here I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this, get this G out of the way here and get this uh, connector out of the way. And here is our chart. So again, when it comes to editing anything with a specific element in your workspace, you just go over here to properties. You could change the chart type through here. You have your legend position. You have your actual legend, so you can change all this. Uh, if I click on this color, I could change the colors for that specific section. And changing data is really nice too. We just go over to the data tab, and here is kind of brings up an Excel style format where we could go ahead and import and edit the data. So for example, what I did to do the uh, Geekbench thing, I just went like that. I added a uh, Mac OS and I gave it the uh, score. These aren't the actual scores, but I'm just giving an example here. And we had a uh, Ubuntu and Ubuntu scored a little bit less, but not much. So 550 versus 1100, let's say. And you could see right there how it went ahead and created that pretty easy. If I go under properties, you could change a bunch of things such as the minimum and maximum. So if I wanted 2000 to be the maximum, you could change that. And anything else is customizable. If I, let's go ahead and zoom out here to 100%. So this is the actual size of our page right here. We can go ahead and get rid of this symbol we added earlier. Select this and if we right click on it, we have some more options too. You have your alignment right here so I can put it right in the center. And then of course we get to resize this to fit our page and change the alignment to get it however we want. And over here we have things like series. And then over here we have our category gap, for example, so we could change that to edit that, add more things, add more data. There's really a lot you could do with charts. And for me, this is gonna be my main use for this application. Now, if we go ahead up here and explore in the ribbon a little bit more, we have the other things we talked about with inserting. If we go under page layout, you could change the page size, the orientation. So under page size as all the uh, predetermined page sizes that you'd expect. You could change the actual units of the layout, page numbers, jump style. You could disable and enable the grid, fit to drawing. So if I select this, click this, it's gonna fit the page to the drawing. So that is really nice. You can enable or disable watermarks. That's one thing, I think the free version might have a little watermark in it, so that's the uh, other difference I forgot to mention that kind of reminded me. Here we have background, so you can go ahead and add or change background colors if you would like to. And then if we go under view, for example, we could change the view. There's actually presentations and stuff within this application, which I will show you in just a sec. Right here we have more options for symbols. So we have select, we have a pencil tool so you can draw specific things. And you saw that, that little chicken scratch I just did there. If I go back to select, I can move and edit this around. And I can add anchors, delete anchors, uh, convert to an anchor. And I have all these different shapes and everything that I can go ahead and add. Let's say I added two shapes, for example, and I went to my select tool. And then from there, I can easily add those connections if I would like to. So you saw that little connection I just added there. If I zoom in, you can see specifically uh, what's going on here. So you saw I just added that. And again, I could click it and then completely modify every aspect about it if I would like to. And then of course there is help. This is where you go to their homepage, go to their guide, go to their tutorials, things like that. Activate or deactivate your account. Uh, one thing I want to do is there are tabs and pages. So you see drawing one. If I go ahead and go over to file and let's open up a template here real quick. So let's search for uh, presentation. And then right here you see there's a couple different things already. We have like a food industry report, uh, presentation, transportation trends, 
Let's just open up this one for example. You can see it opened up in a new tab. So I have my original drawing here. So I can save that, export it however I want. Go to my food industry report and you can see right here, this is an example of one that has multiple pages. So I could go ahead and shuffle through those. And then I could always go to view uh, from beginning. And I have my uh, OBS zoomed in here so you can't really see it that well. I'm gonna go ahead and get out of there, but you can run through it as if it is a, a PowerPoint presentation, for example. So that's something that's cool. Uh, let's go over to file again and let's go under templates. Actually, let's go under new and go to the building plan. One thing that's super cool, and this is one of the better ways to demonstrate it. Uh, let's open up the school fire evacuation like that. This alone is pretty cool. But if I go ahead and zoom on in here to these specific elements, so this door, for example. So if I click on this door and let's zoom in even more here. I can manipulate this individual element really easily. So I could go ahead and rotate this to open the other way, for example. I could change the actual size of the door. I can move around all these different icons to different places and change the sizes of them. Over here under multimedia room, let's say I wanted to actually add a computer in there just to kind of indicate this is where a computer is. I can go ahead and add that, resize it down and put that there and then do that again and all that. It's really cool all the different things that you could do with this piece of software. Now one thing that's awesome, let's say I wanted to export this. So we'd go over to file and I can export and send and it has a ton of different formats that you could export to. It's very compatible with a lot of different things. So for graphics you can see there's JPEG, uh, TIFF, if I go over here under PDF I can export a uh, regular image base, uh, PS format and EPS formatting. Under Office, I could do uh, Word, PowerPoint, Excel. Under HTML, I can export this as an HTML document. And then of course we have SVG. So you'll have a vector graphic that you can actually zoom into, zoom out of and not lose any of that quality. And then of course we have Visio if you sent, if you tend to export to that. So like I said, you could go ahead and try this out free of charge. There's a couple different things with the free thing. So there's, uh, I think there's a watermark. You don't get as many templates, no support, but you still can use the software perfectly fine. And right now, if you want a paid account, they are actually having a back to school sale. So for example, if I go ahead and bring this in here, this is their back to school sale. So if you are not a student or teacher, you get up to 65% off, or you could go ahead and get the education pricing. And here you can see a lot of information on exactly what is going on. Of the pricings, you could either go with an annual plan or lifetime plan, depending on what you would actually like. You can go ahead and check out the links in the description to check out this back to school sale. And even if you're not interested in purchasing it, I would highly recommend you go ahead and try it out. It is a wonderful tool. Um, if you, you do anything where you present data, it's perfect. And with the free version, you could do charts and all that basic stuff that you would expect. So with all that said, I hope you all have a beautiful day. I would love to thank our YouTube members and Patreon supporters. We have Mitchell Valentino, Phil, Matt, Kyle, and Timo Anthony. You guys are some of our top tier Patreon and YouTube members, and I thank you so much for your support. With all that said, I hope everybody has a beautiful day and goodbye.